By that time, Soweto Country Club had been built, but you were, you were playing, obviously trying to play on other golf courses. Which were the golf clubs that would welcome you as a, as a person of colour in those days? Uh, in those days, we, 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 we had a little bit of a problem, but, uh, you know, at least there were some golf courses where they opened for us on Mondays. Um, Wanderers was one of them. We, and, and we looked forward to play Wanderers because of the great golf course, having a, the, the, the best uh, tournament in South Africa, Lexington PGA. I mean, you, when we talk about Lexington PGA, it's like uh, we're talking about Masters. And uh, so we enjoyed playing there on Mondays. And Crown Mines as well also opened the, the, their gates for us on Mondays. Theo, yeah, it seems to me that there were three people in those days that were really influential in um, making golf more available to everybody. And especially I'm talking professional golf. Mm -hmm. And they were Brian Henning, Dennis Brains, and, and very much a gentleman by the name of George Bloomberg, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Would you agree with that? I, I do agree with you. Um, you know, like I, I, my first sponsorship I got, it was uh, uh, Brenda Bloomberg. You, you know, um, she, um, <laughs> I mean, short game was my worst, uh, worst department. And I remember where to qualify in Kilani Golf Course to, um, to play in Zimbabwe, the next tournament. And uh, I pushed my drive in the rough on the left, number 18, and uh, punched it out onto the fairway. I'm left with about 50 yards to the green. And, and, and that is my nightmare department. But you know what I did? I just took a walk like this big pros, uh, like I know what I'm doing. In the meantime, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. So I walked up to the green and then turned back and I hit the most beautiful wedge shot next to the hole and I made par. And then uh, she, she said to me, I saw you're going to Zimbabwe next week. I said, unfortunately not. I um, don't have finance. She says, you're going, I'll finance you. And from there on, and again, she, for, for some reason, she, she was having difficult to say Manyama. And she said to me, we're gonna call you Mr. Black. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and now my golf bag, I got, then I, I got sponsorship from club companies and whatever, and my golf bag would go, Theo Manyama, Mr. Black, <laughs> in honor of Brenda Bloomberg. Yeah. Yeah. They, were, they were a terrific couple, George and Brenda Bloomberg. They really oh. did so much for the game of golf in South Africa. <laughs> they did. Uh, yeah, black and white, they, yeah. they really helped us out. Now, you know, in that, in that period there, through the 70s and 80s, uh, when you were trying to play and trying to play in tournaments, etc., etc., obviously with apartheid, you know, it must have been hugely uh, deflating sometimes when you got to a tournament you weren't allowed to play. You know, you weren't allowed to practice on the golf courses and stuff like that. What is the lowest point for you? The lowest point was, um, well, you know, when, when we were then accepted as members in 1981. And... Uh, now that is, Dennis Brains had taken over the Sunshine Tour. Yes. yes, yes, 1981. So then we were like full members of the Sunshine, or of the PGA, that's before Sunshine Tour. And um, we're going to play in Orkney. And we got to Orkney. I mean, we, they had the whole program of starting from Monday, you, you know, uh, to, to, to Saturday. And uh, the very first day, the welcome function on Monday, um, it went well, but sour. You could see some sour faces, you know, and because of those black guys who are here to play the tournament. And from there on, um, things changed, you know. There was uh, the barbecue, one of the days. And uh, they, they, gave, they gave us a driver, a black guy, with a burro of about five rand. And he took us somewhere in the jungle. Uh, you, you know, when, when you're frightened and you're sitting on a fire and, and you turn around, you'll always see a lion or something, you know. And we were so really scared. And uh, this guy said, listen, guys, I, I can see, you, you know, you're, you're not relaxed. Um, we can go to my house. My wife will 
fix up the food for you and next door is a shebin can buy a couple of beers in there and whatever whatever and that's what happened and we were really disappointed really really disappointed because now we thought we are members why should this happen um oh no you know who was the tournament director Salwan nathan because on sunday then it was their pro m day and uh I always say this as, as a joke, but that's exactly what has happened. So we decided, uh, the black pros, that we're not going to play in the pro -am because these people didn't need us, they didn't want us, you know. It just so happened that I was the first black pro to be called in to, to play. And when they called me and I said, nah, uh, I'm very, very sorry, I can't be able to play. And this lady says, what's the problem? I said, uh, Headache. Uh, no, 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 we'll sort that out. I, Anita, Anita, great uh, Pelada and whatever. And uh, then I said to this lady, I said, well, unfortunately, this, this is not the kind of headache. Uh, I've got a really big black headache and this needs a witch doctor. And, uh, and I said, that goes for all the black players. So we got into the cars, we drove away. And this next tournament was in Swaziland and where Selwood Nathan called me and said, Theo, I said, yes, he says, I want to see you with that big black headache of yours, you know. And then there was really a big disappointment for us when we thought being members, carrying same membership and everything and then still get treated like that. But, you know, the funny thing is, uh, Dale, is that when you love something, you love it. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't love golf as much as I love it. I stayed with it because we love the game. I, I'm, I'm really crazy about the game. There's, if I'm not running a Sunshine Tour golf tournament, you, you don't have to make an appointment with me. Come to observatory, you'll find me on the driving range. That's where I am every single day if I'm not working. I'm eating balls, I'm getting out and playing Glendawa, playing all other courses. I, I, I just love this game.